You already know by the title, but this is the Quaderno by Fujitsu. This is the Sony DPT CP1 effectively. It's the A5 version. You can see right here on the box, right there. This is the Fujitsu Quaderno A5. We're pretty much the only English review channel to actually get our hands on these. We met Fujitsu at SeaTech 2019 in Tokyo just a couple months ago. Well, actually, that's just about eight months ago now. We have been asking for one of these for quite a while and they finally sent it to us. It is factory sealed. We haven't opened it up yet and actually I've never seen this uh, in this box before in the retail box. Uh, I saw it at the trade show when we and a couple people went but I didn't actually see the retail packaging. So this is as much as a surprise to me as it is to you guys. So you have some information right here. We'll give you an idea of what all that is later. Uh, we don't know if this thing will be in English. That's one thing we just we just straight up do not know because it is using the Sony DPT as a platform, but we don't know what they did to the software and everything like that. So in the box, you have some information here. So this is, and you see they did make their own proprietary stuff. It does say Quaderno on there. It doesn't say anything about Sony whatsoever. When certain licenses run out, other companies can white label their goods so when uh, the Sony DPT RP1 and CP1 kind of ran their course there are other companies like Fujitsu that came out and well basically made something out of it this is the very famous stylus for the Sony DPT line that they have now branded Fujitsu you'll see right there it's not a sticker it's not engraved it's actually laser etched on there not even etched it's lasered on there do not be um, uh, tricked though this is 100% the DPT pen in every single way and and we'll, we know that we've been covering e-readers and note-taking devices for a long time this is 100% the DPT CP1 pen and you have the micro USB right here and the exact same nibs and grasper tool they give you in the CP1 now here comes the exciting part because they actually made their own boxes and labels and, and logos and everything so this is not the same packaging as you'd find in the Sony. So this is, for all intents and purposes, its own kind of new unit, its own proprietary unit in its own regard. So there shouldn't be anything else in the box, I would imagine. Here's the reader. We'll put that off to the side just for a moment. I don't think so. It's just a bunch of recyclable kind of uh, labeled etched box uh, pieces. So here's the device itself. Yes, it is of course, the Fujitsu branding on it, even though it's running the CP1. And you can see they did just put a sticker over all the remaining uh, all the remaining kind of uh, seals that were on the stock uh, CP1 body. It is, it is the exact same shell though. So you'll see here you do have the power button with a LED indicator, reset button, and a micro USB. You do have the NFC logo up top and you have the exact same body frame and screen as the Sony does, except you do have your nice little Fujitsu logo on the back, and you will see that it is made in China. They didn't bring manufacturing back home to Japan, and you see it is officially by Fujitsu Client Computing Limited. This is an unboxing, but I will turn it on for the first time just for you guys. So I'll put that right there, and you do, say, you do see it did say Quaderno on there, so you do have, uh, you know, it, it's completely Quaderno through and through, basically. So we'll just leave that on, leave that turning on for the first time here for you and put everything else on the table while that boots up and we won't go any further than that. Now there is some English that is popping up. It says encrypting the system storage, please wait. So that might be a good sign that there may be an English version on here, in which case we will... Uh, do our best to supply you with this unit if that is something you want to do. There you go. It says the initial setup right there. There you go, right there. There's English. It says English right on the device. So you can change this into Japanese or English, which is actually unlike the Sony DPT Japanese version. So this one is coming into your hands in full English, and we will do a full setup 
and uh, we will show you how to use this thing through and through. And if you guys want to order it, you should be able to get it on our site on the Goody Reader store for a Goody Reader unboxing of the Quaderno A5 by Fujitsu. This is Peter.